What's up guys? Today I have the final and hottest sauce in the five sauce lineup from Bob and Brian's Hot Sauce. The one called Over the Cliff with the Reaper on it. I love that label. This is so badass. When you can see this down here, it describes the mayhem of peppers that are in there. I'll read it to you. The combination of brain strain red, ghost chili, and Carolina Reaper might just tip you over the edge. Sounds scary. Oh, I can't wait to bust into this and show you just how hot it is and how good it tastes. Again, this is from Bob and Brian's Hot Sauce out of Nelligan, New South Wales, Australia. This is sent to me by Dennis Cray. His Instagram handle is dennis.cray.3. His website is bob, 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 bobandbryans.com.au. On the back of every bottle, again, there's the backstory and the social media and the ingredients, which I will read right now. Besides those fun peppers that are in here, there's also uh, vine ripened tomatoes, fresh orange juice, red capsicum, red peppers, red onions, chilies, carrots, celery, apple cider vinegar, Celtic sea salt. Fresh ginger, fresh garlic, coconut sugar, South American golden berries, lime juice, lemon myrtle, pepper myrtle, fresh basil leaves. I'm interested in the South American golden berries. You guys know the sauce that I had yesterday. It had the lemon myrtle in it. And it also had... Uh, I think it had pepper myrtle. Well, I know it had pepper, the mountain pepper berry and the mountain pepper leaf. Leaf. All right. Let's bust into this. Thanks, Dennis, for sending this to me. And let's see. Just how much hotter this is than the Bloody Reaper that I did yesterday. Let's go for the smell first. Do I smell any carrots? A little bit. Smell some zesty hot sauce flavor smell. Not like cumin, but no, I smell the tomatoes. The tomatoes and the carrots. The basil leaves and things like that. I don't smell a lot in the way of heat though, but with Brain Strain Red, Ghost Chilies, and the Carolina Reaper, I think this is going to be pretty hot. I'm hoping. Wish I knew the percentage of the peppers. It has a nice chunky texture and nice flow to it. Looks scrumptious. Let's see how this, oh, I wish I could show you this from the top. Just the way that sauce looks. Some pieces of the peppers sitting there on top in the color of the sauce, the way it looks. Looks really nice. Mm. I think it has a similar flavor of the Bloody Reaper, but a bit different too. More tomato forward, more heat. It's not too bloody hot, but it's very good. That Reaper is hitting me in the back of the throat. I like the nice chunkiness of it. You know, it's not very thick and pasty. Watch this as it runs back down the bottle. Okay. 
See the nice chunks of peppers and tomatoes and stuff in there. It's very good too. Mmm. Yeah. I would like to throw some heat at it though. Um, I was cutting this bad boy open earlier. And taking some seeds out of it. Look at the inside of this thing. Isn't that scary looking? Holy cow. Wow. This is a rimmerous rimmer fun strain. And I want to put a little sauce in there. Yeah. All right. There we go. <laughs> so this is not really a gusher because this is like a half pepper. And for you people out there in YouTube land that don't know what the rimmerous fun strain is, it's from Sweden. It's an F6 phenotype, uh, pheno 6, um, strange variant of the chocolate scorpion is what it is. So let's see how much heat this adds to it. Mmm. It's pretty floral. Hmm. I think that pepper is pretty ripe too. <clears throat> Maybe that's what it was. Mm hmm. Mm. Brutal. It's brutal. Oh. Mm. 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 All right, so that's down. <sighs> like I was saying, there was some floralness there. The heat is just like a blowtorch right in the back of my throat from that bad boy. Mmm. <sighs> yep. It's hitting there, right? Just, just right in the back of my throat. There was a lot of floralness there, but it's a good thing I had the sauce with it because it kind of helped to hide that flavor. Uh, Heat-wise, it's not getting any hotter. I thought it was just going to build. Maybe it will. Maybe it'll build. I don't know. As far as the sauce goes... Very good sauce, Dennis. I appreciate you sending me this bottle as well. It's very good, guys. Um, again, this one is over the cliff with the brain strain red, ghost chili, and the Carolina Reaper. And all the lovely ingredients that I read in it. It's a very good, hearty sauce. Tomatoey, carrot, Bob's and Brian's. BobandBrians.com.au And that is the final sauce. And Dennis, thank you so much for sending me that. I don't guess the uh, chocolate scorpion is going to get any hotter. Hit the back of my throat. And I guess the sauce helped, helped to deaden the heat. <laughs> I don't know. But I'm surprised it wasn't hotter. It's a very thick walled pepper. I'm not going to eat the other side. But I love how it has that nice tail on it. And it looks like it's melting.
Oh, what the heck? Huh? Why not, right? What else am I going to do with it? Yeah, it's a little soft. So maybe it was pretty ripe. Usually in my experience though, when a pepper is more ripe like that, it's usually hotter. It's like, how is that? A giant ghost pepper knocks me on my ass a lot worse than that just did. A rimorous fun strain. How is that possible? I don't know guys but it's very good sauce <laughs> all right thank you again Dennis Cray for sending this to me I'm Alan Denny thanks for watching guys it's not getting any hotter no good heat but not not getting any hotter really that one's not hitting my throat either it's just kind of around the roof of the mouth I am hungry for heat and always remember to stay hungry for heat Oh,